Why are you don't do this, man? As I'm gonna call you now. <laughs> You enjoyed Christmas yesterday? Had a time for ourselves, just doing nothing. Yeah, it was fun, wasn't it? Like the Christmas gift you gave me. A new operation table. <laughs> Why'd you give me a game called Surgeon Simulator? Well, obviously, because I'm a doctor, but yeah, I played it. it. Seems like a pretty decent game. What are you talking about? Well, your ex husband? He's been acting strange lately? What do you mean? started to care about Ryan. The vice must be going down. Don't worry, I'll fix them. Do you know where he is? He's gone. Where did he go? Why would you leave outside somewhere? But it's after Christmas. That'd be New Year's soon. Why would you go? I'll go find him. Just watch Ryan. Listener. <laughs> Please. You gotta remember who you are. Don't give me that look. Please. You're not like the others. Like this crazy. You something to I don't know how to say this no of course I do it's just you're scaring me I should be scared of you I shouldn't because you're not supposed to be like this I want my wife back that's all I want for Christmas I know it's after Christmas, but still, I still want you back. Please. Why did this happen? What? The vice on your neck. I'd get her off. I gotta choke him to do something. Listener? You know, I honestly think you tortured me that good enough. Cause it took it like a man. Yes, really. But now you're gonna come in here. Way too close. Listen, please, you gotta remember who you are. Be careful with that knife, please. Just don't hurt me with that. I 
cut it off of you. Listener, it's me, Ryan. Come on, just remember who you are. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's me. Yeah, I'm okay. Thank goodness you're back to normal. Where's your ex-husband? You don't know? I must be gone somewhere. Listen, you're gonna have to we're gonna have to get out of here. The doctor, I don't know. Where's the doctor? He said he was going out. Oh great. Or we might be, might be. Huh? Are you trying to... No. I'm back to normal. The device on my neck. Wear it out. The reason why I escaped because... I didn't want to get caught thinking that he... he knew that I turned back to normal. And he did <laughs> And That's good. Well, either way, we gotta get out of here. Come on. You know what? Just be smart. Grab a weapon. This is all gonna be bad. I gotta think this through. Um... Listener, me and your ex-husband are going to go and try to find a way out. If the doctor comes in, you tell us, and we'll take him down. I want you to go find the babies. Now. Let's go. That's the main door. It has a key. Where's the key? He has it. Great. It's not good. It isn't good at all. <laughs> I figured that you would turn back to normal sooner or later. Hey Ryan, why are you even going to be assisting in trying to fight? You're weak right now and you're hurt. I still have a little bit of strength in me to take you down. <laughs> I want to see you try. You both have knives. And I have a gun. What are you going to do about it? Listen. Just give us the key and let us leave. No, 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 no. I can't do that. As soon as you guys leave, you call the police. Don't want to be arrested and won't be able to see Listener anymore. Listener is my wife. <laughs> Not for much longer, you still she's still controlled. Yes, she is. What's wrong with you? You're a monster. That's what they always call me. <laughs> You're worse than I was. Oh, you have don't have room to talk. Where's listener? Where is she? Tell me, both of you, now. What? Listener, no. So you got out of control too. Listener, please. You're supposed to be mine, not him. Why are you even carrying our babies away? It's supposed to be our moment. You don't love me. 
<laughs> you made me crazy right now. Like I said, if you don't love me, I'm gonna make you love me. <clears throat> Listen to run. You guys get to the door. Now. Why hold them off? Shut you in the leg. Now, Ryan. You have any last words? You're a psychopath. Oh. Really? Guess what? That's what they always call me. Goodbye, Ryan. Listener, why would you? <clears throat> I'm fine, listener. I'm fine. He just shot me in the leg. I'm good. I loved you. <coughs> Why would you do this to me? Because she doesn't love you. you overgrown psychopath. <sighs> He's dead. We need to get out of here. Should we even call the police? Yeah, you're right. We'll, they'll figure it out later. Come on. Hey, Melissa. Don't worry, Daddy's fine. Peter, Nick. My goodness, he didn't hurt them. Let's get out of here. Thanks for badging me up, listener. Oh, look. I figured they would find out on the news sooner or later. I hope we won't have to deal with any more yonderies. That's what they're called, right? Yeah. Oh, we don't have to deal with any more for the rest of my time. Yeah, I agree. <laughs> yeah, I could walk. This is going to be feeling a little bit hurting. But it'll heal. Hey. Thanks for helping us out. You're welcome. I'm glad I did what I had to do. And listener, um, hold me in my room. We gotta talk in private. Listen, I'm glad I met you. Thank you for saving my life. What? You saw me in high school before and you actually wanted to ask me out? <laughs> well, that was a coincidence. How come I have you hardly see you? Oh, that's right. You were dealing with crazy boys. Well, I just hope it's all over. Oh, you gave me a Christmas present? Is it a PS5? Because they're sold out. <laughs> I'm just saying. What is this? 
Oh my gosh. It's a big picture of you and me and our family. You made this? Wow, this is amazing. I love you so much. Oh, give me a kiss. I love this so much. Thank you very much. <laughs> that rhymed. <laughs> oh, by the way, I did give you something. I know how much you love that perfume that you've always wanted and yeah, mm-hmm. I kind of spoiled it, but yep, it's the perfume you wanted. <laughs> I'm glad I have a wife like you. I love you, listener. Oh. We gotta go. We gotta go open our presents. What are we doing in here for? You're right. Come on. This is the best Christmas ever. Thank you guys so much for being part of my family. We're almost like a family. True, true. Come on, let's open our presents.